you no longer are using Twitter. Right. What, you know, a lot of people are very curious about that, I'm sure. Um, what's your three bullet points to why? Uh, oh, uh, this is a tricky one. Well, I, I really got tired of the, the overhyped social media rhetoric. I work with a lot of authors and people were starting to claim that, you know, how could you possibly sell a book if you don't have a big social media presence and a bunch of followers. And I thought, hello, has anyone remembered that um, making a book that helps the reader kick ass is, is what matters? And that many of us were doing things before there was ever Twitter, before we blogged. Um, and, I, and I thought, you know, this is a big distraction from things that really matter yeah. that people should be doing. So I just really did it. I had my 18,000 followers who mm -hmm. I do miss, but I really did it just to say, you know, no, it, it, it's not about that. But, but it also, I backed off of social media. I also canceled my Facebook account. Mm -hmm. it, it's just, Was I need Was that for it, a different reason or? A similar, similar reason. I really just need time to, to um, you know, be in the world and not filter everything through, every experience I have through, ooh, what kind of a tweet would this make? Yeah. <laughs> or can I post this on Facebook? It just was eating in. Yeah, mm -hmm. and so I'll come back to it, but yeah. I really wanted to yeah. live in the world. Okay. How about you? What have you been doing? You know, I've also been a little bit interesting. I mean, I've, I'm still communicating more than ever, but I am definitely doing less branding of myself, less interviews. Um, this is one of the last talks I'm giving for quite a while. Right. Um, I, uh, I just, I don't do well by reading or books or blogs. That's not how I learn. I only learn by doing, you know, and, uh, and I think that's how I became relevant and I need to taste things. Just like with wine, same thing with business. I need to, I need to be in the trenches, I need to do things. And uh, you know, my big move is eliminating TweetDeck because then it's not coming at me. So right. at least, I'm still doing it, but it's not, you know, every time that little red button popped up and there's another mention, I, I was like, instant. And so, I've looked at that, everything, you know, nothing is good out of balance, right? right? right. So I'm trying to balancing, uh, balance things more. I wanna ask you a question about that. Please. Um, how has, your daughter who's turning one? On Monday, just, Nisha. Yeah, congratulations. How has that changed your um, relationship or your perspective on social media and some of the things that you've been working on? This is such a sucky answer because everybody wants a different answer from me, but the real answer is nothing. <laughs> okay. You know, you know That's, me. No, I've got, actually, you, know, you know how I have to be who I am. I have to transparently answer. That's a thought-provoking answer, actually. It, is, it's actually. it actually makes me feel bad about who I am. I'm like, why haven't I thought about privacy more? Why am I not appalled with it? Like, why am I not being the good parent that this is what's supposed to happen when you're, you have a child? You should be looking at things differently and it has not happened yet. Now, right. she's 11 months old. Right. I'm sure when she's walking on the street by herself, <laughs> things change again. And so, at this point, it hasn't changed much. Okay, that's good. I'm a very big believer in this thing I'm about to tell you. I think people are dramatically better than we give them credit for. I think humans are massively underrated. And um, I, awesome. I live by that. I do. Wow. Yeah, I'm not. It's an interesting feeling I have, but I, it's a big belief I have. It's kind of like sharks. Sharks don't hurt that many people, but the brand of sharks is in a bad place. Meanwhile, hippos kill a heck of a lot more people, but because we have hungry, <laughs> hungry hippos and their cartoons, we right. think they're nice. I think humans are branded poorly. I really do. Wow. Yeah. That's, I never thought of that. He, okay. Interesting, right? Yeah. So, what has been the most interesting piece of content you've consumed in the last 30, 60 days? Music, video, written, nature. Give me something. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I could think of anything specific, but I will say- the best, how about something? No, I will that... say that video, video is getting my attention right now, a lot. I find myself more and more and more interested and, and captivated with video and um, animations. Consuming and, it. Uh, yeah, consuming it. Well, and is, and, and, and is that but that's making, making you me want to create right. it. Absolutely. Right. Sure. But I've just seen, you know, has explosion mo has of things. Has impacted that? Because that's what's impacting me. You know, that mobile consumption of video is so, you know, HTML5, so relevant, so easy. It hasn't for me, but I live on a farm that I work from. Yep. And so I almost never leave. So mo <laughs> mobile has stopped being a, a factor for me. Sure. So I don't think about it as much. Um, but yeah, I, I, I really think there's some powerful 
uh, future in doing more things with video and communicating that way and, and animations to help people understand things and have a feel for things and you know people doing um, you know remixed animations for music videos all yeah. kinds of stuff it's just it's power. people are, people have freedom to create yeah that's really cool how about you what have you seen that's for me you know I'm obsessed with a couple things you know silly stuff that's not sexy or smart or profound like you like deal, <laughs> deal of the day stuff is so fascinating to me <laughs> I know, it's lame, but like Groupon and Guild Group, right. why are, but I will go deeper. I'll, I'll go a little bit deeper and show okay. you that I'm not that shallow. Restrictions fascinate me. Why is one product, one price, not having a big selection of what I should buy, why is that so convertible and powerful? I think that's fascinating. I always told my staff building a wine library, the reason we'll be successful is we're gonna tell people what to buy. And more importantly, we're gonna that, listen to them. All right. And so, that was always interesting to me. And these that's deal of really day sites are dominating. They're just, I don't, right. you know, it's something I'm studying right now. And that's fascinating to me. And the geolocation stuff. I think people are grossly underestimating what Foursquare and Gowalla leads to. Every brand, every event is so driven on point of purchase, where they are. And I think it's very fascinating that when I'm going to the supermarket, if I get into a habit of checking in because I know something's going to be there, what does that can open? And even on a bigger level, let me ask you this interesting question. If I'm Coca-Cola and I pay for the sponsorship in this stadium to be Coke, the beverage of choice, and somebody checks into the game and Pepsi has an ad and a coupon when I check in, that gets interesting debate. And I think that's a fascinating debate that's gonna go on. Who owns the virtual space? And I think that's gonna be fascinating to watch. Wow. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. That was not the, bad. The, not the bad. thing about choice is really interesting um, because there, there's so much research out right now. I mean, I'm more studying, you know, uh, passion, of course, and the development of I'm expertise. That. That's, been, that's been a big thing that I've been working on for the last few years is, you know, how do people actually develop real expertise? And one of the, you know, one of the factors is that people are just simply paralyzed by choice. And it turns out that even the tiniest amount of choice, because it's just using brain resources. That and the brain don't want can't be processing choices and actually getting something done at the same time. So, you know, your, your thing about sense. helping people understand, you know, what to do and you helping motivate people well, also you. requires, you know, a specific, here's something you can do right now. Do Not this. here's an abstract concept of 50 things you might do. Here's something you can do right now today. I, I think this is an appropriate time because we don't get to do this because you don't leave your farm. Um, I want to say right now to anybody, I don't care if one person's watching, and you know what I feel about followers and numbers. I think that's, let me, let me go on a soapbox. The fact that six people follow you in whatever context, you should be flattered. That's about, that's about more than 98% of the world. <laughs> but I want to say something real quick because I've been wanting to say this and this is a great place to say it. I literally feel that I made it in this world, whatever this web 2.0, social media, internet, this community, I literally feel, I can tell you right this second, the moment I made it was when you used me as an example <laughs> in a slide at, in South by Southwest 2008 when I would say that 95% of the audience had no idea who I was. Wow. And, and that was a very big deal to that's me. That's awesome. And it means a lot to me. I want to thank you for that. That really well, is my, to me that is my moment. because. And that, you know, it wasn't just somebody saying, oh, this guy's crazy. Right. You know, you were the first person that had respect that I think dissected what I was doing because everybody else was like, oh, this guy's crazy and he just calls wine like nerd candy and that's awesome, that's right. why he's winning. And you, you uh, that but was see, super I flattering. I still debate with people, including a, l a little bit with you, maybe yeah. not as much anymore, about what it was about you that I think has been Good so looks. successful. No, no. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. I mean, those are there. Those are like the icing now. Yeah, but go ahead. But in spite of your good looks, mm -hmm. um, because I, why I thought it was so interesting. So I'm really glad you brought this up. It's because so many people were um, the 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 talk around you know Gary Vaynerchuk, and it's st still going on, mm -hmm. is about your awesomeness. Mm -hmm. And so as soon as I started to hear about you, you know, we kind of get jaded to hearing about mm -hmm. this, especially in in the big social media world mm -hmm. or anyone with a bunch of fans mm -hmm. and followers. And I said, I, you know, I'm not really interested in Gary. I'm gonna, if I want to find out about Gary, I'm not gonna look at anything he does. Yeah, his videos are great, but I'm gonna look at the people who follow Gary. 
his fans what what's happening for them so I don't think it's really all that useful to study the person who is doing something really successful it's really useful to study the people who are thriving as a result or to see if they are so the first thing I did is I went on to Gary's site and I started doing an archaeological dig through the <laughs> comments that people made on Gary's site and what I noticed is that they weren't talking about Gary much they were talking about themselves so what you did was the perfect embodiment of, of the things that I've been trying to say for so many years, which is that, yeah, you're an interesting guy, but you made them interesting at their next dinner party. And they were talking about that and reflecting that. And so you helped them be more awesome and be able to you know, have some self-expression around the things that you were teaching them and giving them. And that is absolutely, that's the biggest gift. I appreciate the My favorite video I've ever made, 900 wine videos, 200 business videos, is my 80-20 rule. I literally am not capable of going into any relationship, and this is DNA, this is my parents you know, giving me the right stuff, so I don't take any credit for it, I'm just putting it into context. It's not comfortable for me to have the better hand or more of the relationship. I'm completely not comfortable if you're giving me more than I'm giving you. And I think that DNA is what made that happen. Like I want to be 80% of the giver in a relationship. Okay. Any of them, every relationship I have, my parents even. My parents are mad at me because I try to like <laughs> reverse the game on them. Right. Like I, it's, I'm just not comfortable in having it for me. I feel so much more comfortable in giving. But it's I, I think what you give also matters. I mean I think oh, sure. a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of companies and a, and a lot of people in social media and, other, you know, in the, even now with the government stuff, we think about the services that we're going to provide. Like, we care about people, so we're going to give them the best. So even when there's a lot of talk around to give, we're not necessarily giving something that really enables someone else sure. or that empowers someone else. I mean, good this, customer service this. doesn't necessarily make someone awesome, but you I, make I someone right. awesome. I think that's where this umbrella that Tim is now starting to go right. after, this government, I mean, if governments start opening up data, and the, an amazing, and probably a lot of it's available, but I'm not versed enough to know what is and isn't. I just wish all those amazing 16 year olds that develop these iPhone apps and mobile apps and, and, and develop sites, if they were to take this data and put it into use, we would live in a totally different place. Right. I mean, I think that's, this umbrella, what got me to come here, is I just want to be a part of this because I think we're going to be in a day and age where this data opens up, the records, the, you know, nobody's going to read an 800 point, you know, page report from Congress. Create an app that gives me 37 bullet points that are real and factual, I'm reading it or every time. Or puts it in a meaningful context. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Weather data that gives me the surf report in a, in a time and a, in a manner that I can actually Absolutely. You know, 1, grab a few waves before work. One thousand percent. I gotta catch a train. I love you guys. I love you more. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye.